traveler, Paimon. It's been a long time. Oh, hey, Hoishin. Long time to see. Fancy meeting you here. How's work these days? Thanks to the help of people like you and colleagues like Ganyu, better all the time. But I've been feeling distracted at work lately. <sighs> it's a long story. But my father... Huh? What's wrong with Uncle Tian? Nothing specifically. He's not unwell. He says he's just... He's always said, old age comes for us all in the end. Anyway, my father's currently on the second floor of Yangsheng Tea House. He seems very fond of you two. Sure. What a lovely surprise. Welcome. Hoishi, why don't you go down... I heard that you've been traveling all over the place recently. I would very much like to hear... Hoishi told you, didn't she? Don't worry. I'm quite alright. It's just the years gradually catching up with as I grow older, I'm starting to find that with many things, though the mind... I am still very much in good standing as the Tianshu today. Nevertheless... How difficult is it to transfer the Tianshu position? Oh, well, you see, the Tianshu is a rather... Historically speaking, the Tianshu rarely appears in public. We stay. We also want to keep any prospective Tianshu candidates free from influence by outside force. For these reasons, the incumbent Tianshu typically recommends their candidate. Of so, in other words, you pick someone, and then Lady Kuching, Lady Ningguang, and the other Qixing appoint. Correct. Unfortunately, due to my health, not to despair, however. Because I found someone exceptionally capable to act on my behalf as a sis. Oh? Who is I'm heartbroken. I thought it might take you a little longer than this to forget all about me. It's Yaron! <laughs> Jackpot. Uncle Tian here asked me to assess three candidates for him. Fancy joining me? You'll be among the first to get to know the next Tian Shu. Might be a good opportunity. Hmm. What do you think? So too, it can't be a bad thing to be on good terms with the new Qixing, right? All right then. Though I gotta say, Uncle Tian, you say you're into behind-the-scenes planning. My work's of the covert variety too. Don't you think I might? Huh? Yelan, you want to be? Hmm. I'm not opposed to the idea, but I suspect Ningguang wouldn't let you. So how about this? If your investigation reveals that... Deal. Well, you guys, take your time. Everything's all set for the assessments to go ahead. Meet me on the first floor when you're ready. Until then, have a pleasant conversation. Oh, and no need to pay for your tea. As the new owner of this fine establishment, this runs on the house. You're all set? seems really worn down. Yeah, it may sound harsh, but Uncle Tian is past his prime. He's not cut out for this anymore. So he's recommended three candidates. Their names are Chen Wei. Chen Wei is a wealthy entrepreneur. Ming Bua works at the Liu Wei Ministry of Civil Affairs. Try to keep all that in mind. <laughs> of course, it doesn't really matter if you forget, since we'll be a... Chen Wei? Ming Bua? Yi. Paimon 
should be able to remember their names, but what... Let's leave that until we get to Yuahai Pavilion. All right. Heads in the game, people. The stakes don't get much higher than a change in the Qixing. We can't af... Got it. We'll keep our eyes wide open. Body and mind. <gasps> My legs are getting sore. What is wrong with this assessment officer? This is a huge occasion and I don't even get a chair. I've dealt with all kinds of people in my time, but never have I been made to stand while I'm waiting for an appointment. Oh, I mean, uh, I... I think it's... That's called being complacent. If you're happy to just accept the way things are, you'll... Oh, come on. That's just... Now you're just... All right, you two. Let's not get into a big argument over... Qianwei, that was a bit uncalled for. And Mingbo cut him some slack. We've all been standing around for a while. It's natural to be getting... Look, how about this? There's no rule saying we're obliged to stand up while we wait, so why don't we borrow some chairs? Fine. Ugh, they're not the best quality chairs, to be sure. It looks like all three candidates have arrived. Mm-hmm. We'll meet them formally soon. Before that, let me run... I've split it into two stages. Current affairs and planning, and face-to-face -face interview. In the first stage, Candidates are required to submit a manifesto for Liyue's development. In the second state, writing a manifesto takes time, so I informed them of this requirement in advance. These are the reports they submitted. Wow! One of them is really thick! It's also worth mentioning a stipulation I gave them. Whoever is appointed as the new Tianshu will be expected to implement their plan at... Failing the occurrence of some cataclysmic event, they will not be permitted to change their plan. Therefore, these three piles of documents in front of- There's still some time. Have a skim through, get a first impression. I'll be waiting off to the side. Just let me know when you're done. Finished, huh? Everyone took it very serious. Of course they did. They have the chance to be picked as the new Tianshu, so you can bet they're putting their best foot forward. And keep in mind, whoever gets in has to execute their plan as written. <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. We can talk. We'll see the candidates now. Let's do one at a time. Start with Chen Wei. Yes, ma'am. Oh? So you two are the assessment officers, are you? I had assumed that given the great import of this situation, Lady Ningguang would perhaps be assessing us in person. I certainly hadn't imagined I'd be seeing two in- I trust you've read through my manifesto? I'd be more than happy to clarify any details you found difficult to grasp. It was- Mind your tone, mister! Relax. It wasn't intended as a personal slight against anyone in particular. I was simply stating a fact. Cloud Retainer? You know this Adeptus?
Oh. With your sterling reputation, you must have a respectable level of erudition. Perhaps you will be able to understand the concepts. Oh, is it my turn? Yes. Please, introduce yourself. I'm, uh, Mingbo. I, I've worked there for, um, nine years, five months. I have 12 active cases at the moment. They should be concluded in, uh, six. My current work is related to urban planning, and I'm also responsible for, uh, auditing the accounts. To be more precise... Uh, is it just Paimon, or... You know what? Let's leave the self-introduction there and move on to some questions. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little nervous. What would you like to know? You're here to assess me, so ask away and I'll answer your question. Your manifesto is very wide in its scope, but you don't seem to be personally involved in many of the specific fields. How can you be sure that you have the ability- Very fair question. I completely understand where you're coming from. But I'm confident in my plan. I've visited many different places, talked to lots of people with far more expertise than myself, and my manif- Of course, two different problems can be interconnected in very complicated ways, and you might reach two very contradictory conclusions depending on which one you're focusing on. What I've tried to do is strike a balance. How do you plan to determine whether you are right or wrong about your proposed solution being the op- A great question. Well, I'd start by having my colleagues and the secretaries of the UAHI Pavilion evaluate any proposals before implementation. Post impl If it turned out that my judgment was to blame for poor results, I would take resp- Hmm. Nice answer. All right, next- He seems like a great guy! Everything he said was thoughtful and logical and Here's my take on what we just learned. As you saw, Chenwei is highly knowledgeable. He proposes many excellent ideas in his manifesto, which effectively target- But he is very proud and incredibly stubborn. He doesn't care much about other people's feelings. Mingguo's plan is more thorough and more measured. You can tell he's meticulous in his work, very detailed. But he and Chenwei are otherwise polar opposites. Mingguo is not very articulate and comes across as very timid in conversation. Perfect summary! Paimon couldn't agree more! You're good at this, Yewan. Last but not least, Jur Yi. His manifesto is full of pertinent details, his methodology is sound, and his proposals cover a broad... The depth he goes into in each and every area means it can only be a product of painstaking work. Plus, he is... But, what really interests me is that many of his views happen to coincide with Uncle Tien's. Having someone like Jur Yi take the position would certainly put on... Great! We'll see. Let's go back and report to... 